Well, it's definitely due time for an update now. Uh, it's, it's only one week to the fair, uh, and I've been working really long hours every day, averaging three hours a day uh, after work. So uh, I definitely feel some, some, uh, <laughs> some fatigue by now. Uh, but just one week to go, and uh, uh, it both feels and, well, it is almost ready. Uh, huge progress has been made. Let me show you. So starting at the front here, you can see the grill is mounted here and I have a, a black board there mounted as well, covering everything here. So the only gap is, is here, so we can let in some air to the, to the cooler here. What's more, uh, all the cabling is done when it comes to low voltage wiring, all the signals, uh, but also the high voltage wiring. So I think it's 68 cables coming into this box, which is a fun coincidence because I have 68 cells mounted in series in the battery. In the high voltage box here, you have the insulation monitoring device. It's mounted over there. And it's also prepared this box for, for high voltage for, uh, for the heater in the cabin. But that has not been the priority. The priority has been to make the motor run so we can actually drive the car to the fair itself. This night I've been spending it on the drive shafts. So they arrived earlier today and I've managed to mount both of them on both sides. So now everything is actually turning here. Next step is the brake pads, need to bleed the brakes, um, mount the damper here. But apart from that, it's almost ready to, to lower the vehicle down, put on some wheels, maybe do that in the opposite order and uh, adjust the suspension. I guess that's needed as well because everything is, is uh, right now at its lowest. So I probably need to raise it a little bit, especially in the back. So talking about the back, you can see the brake lights or running lights are active here as well. The battery packs looks like this now. So what I have left to do here is two lids, one there and one over there. And I have mounted mounted i installed some uh, some fake leather on these ones as well so if i zoom in here maybe you can see the structure of it but overall it's it looks really nice i think and it's it gives a, a quality feeling uh, here you can see i've mounted the um, the mid pack switch and it's also the the fuse so it's a 350 amp fuse there also worth noticing is the charging inlet it's where the uh, fuel inlet <laughs> used to be. And charging also works, at least for a few minutes. It's, there are There is some silly bug, <laughs> which makes it stop after a while. I haven't really spent so much time troubleshooting that one. Another area of huge progress is the back seat here. So in the last video, everything was open here on the sides and underneath there as well. So now everything is covered up. I've used the same fake leather here. Makes it a bit exclusive as well, I think. Yeah, and you can definitely sit quite comfortably, comfortably <laughs> in the rear seat here as well. Even though you lose some, some foot room here, some leg room, uh, you really have I mean, your knees pops out quite far, so it's not really annoying at all. On the sides here as well, I managed to, to make it quite nice as well. So, uh, so let's fire it up. So let's turn the ignition on. You can hear the water pump coming on. You could briefly see the red warning lamp there showing red, but it's unlit after just a few or just half a second or something. 
because when this lamp is lit, something is wrong or I have not received communication with all the components yet. But just half a second after you turn it on, everything is okay. There are some software bugs, definitely still. <laughs> you see I have like 14% socket says, but probably have like 60%. So the SOC algorithm, and algorithm is not really working as it should. So if we go here, we can go into the advanced settings and we can see some, some fancy details of the battery here. So what you can see is that we have 12.4 volts in the 12 volt system. We have 241 volt in the high voltage system and uh, it's not really connected right now. So, so let's connect it. Click, click, click and now it's connected. So now we can see we are charging the 12 volt battery with about 12 amps at 14.38 volt. We are consuming 0.8 amps from the high voltage battery at the moment and uh, right now we can hear a small hum from the inverter so i want to show you as well so now i'm applying some uh, some throttle here so let's see the wheel spin And some brake as well. So right now the drive shafts I have they are not hardened steel so they came uh, right off the mill. So the, the firm I contacted and uh, requested to do this job they uh, were nice enough to save me two pair of unhardened ones and sent the other one so the other two to the hardening firm. So it would take like one month more to get the, the actual drive shafts. But now I have temporary ones, so I will definitely limit the torque quite a lot now. I think right now it's it's set to 20 Newton meters and the max is 195 Newton meters. So only like 10% or something. So maybe I, I dare to ramp that up to, to, to 40 Newton meters or something. But uh, yeah, I mean, look at this. It's, it's just so satisfying, <laughs> so many hours. I, I made a brief calculation that I've spent probably about 800 hours on this car so far. Uh, but it's, it's really starting to look like a car now. There's the other side as well, everything mounted in the same way. This one also spins. Yeah, so what do you say? Do you like what you see so far? Let me know in the comments. And um, in one week I will join this fair. Uh, I've actually received quite a nice spot there as well. So a lot of people will, will walk by and, and see this car. So I'm currently planning a little bit what I will show as well. <laughs> uh, so I've uh, printed out some papers here as well. Like a QR code to <laughs> that gets you to my YouTube channel. You're already there, so thank you for watching. <laughs>